What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, we're talking about a very interesting topic, um, a technique that I recently just learned in Premiere Pro. And today I'm going to share it with you all in hopes that it helps you all become a better editor, storyteller, and videographer. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So as you guys can tell from today's title, we'll be talking about how to clean up a backdrop within Premiere Pro. Now, the reason for this video came because this is a technique that I actually had to do on a current project that I was doing for a client where I had to match out the background um, for an Instagram video. And I thought that that application or that editing technique will be useful for some of you all since vertical video is kind of the hype right now on all the social media. So if you guys remember, our previous tutorial that we did within Photoshop on how to clean up a backdrop. And hopefully you guys remember that technique, those same principles and applications that we learned there will sound familiar because we'll be applying some of the same techniques in here in Premiere Pro. But that's enough talking and rambling. So let's go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro so we'll show you all exactly how this is done. All right, guys, so here we are in Premiere Pro. And as you guys can see, this is my first uh, vertical timeline that we have here. And here, this top portion of our vertical video is the section that we'll be needing to extend or mask out or, you know, match with our background. So this technique is actually, for the most part, very simple and doesn't really require much but the first thing that we need to do in order to be able to match this is create a what is this a black video so don't know how to do that you're going to come here and select this new item then click black video and then you want to make sure that your video settings are correct and they will match up with this video so here we have our width is 1080 height 19 by 20 and we're at 24 frames per second so that's the exact same settings that we're using for our timeline then we just click ok and boom you see we have our black video here in our project folder so we'll bring that drag this over and just make sure that our black video is the exact same length of our clip right so as you can see right now, we don't see anything. So in order to actually create um, this effect, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so in order to create this effect, all I like to do is go ahead and toggle off the black video. So you're able to see our background in the area that we need to mask out. So once you turn off the layer, you should be able to see your video clip again, but you wanna make sure that you still have the black video selected, right? So boom you have that so first things first when creating this i'm gonna come over to effects and we'll be typing in a few things first is tint because our tint is actually going to be where we grab our color to be able to match this background so Right here where it says map black to you want to select the eyedrop tool and you want to select a color that's somewhere like i don't know on the on the edge or the border so if you do that and we turn back on our uh, black video layer you see we now have like a solid pink background so now you can kind of see where we're going to get into the masking aspect and blend in our background so the second thing after we selected our color that we want to do is come over here and select our free draw bezier tool and this here is the tool or the item that is going to help us to mask out that background and blend in our solid pink layer with our video clip so we select that and then for me personally what i like to do is come down here where it says select zoom level i like to zoom out so i can actually see the full video and mask exactly where I want to go so here we're just going to go ahead and create our mask and again this is on the black video um and not our uh not our actual video clip and we're just going to create our mask and create it just 
just right under where we see let me zoom back in just underneath here the uh the walls and the two backdrop paper just want to bring that right there so now we turn back on our black layer or our black video you can see now that it looks way better than from where we started but you can clearly see that oh something doesn't look right here like this isn't blended perfectly so what you want to do is highlight black video we're going to come over here to where it says mask feather so this here is the blend between like this harsh line and if you just select and drag our mouse over you can kind of see that blend getting ever so soft and just ever so it looks more natural right but also you can see now that we can kind of still see very subtly the uh backdrop paper so what i like to do is come to where it says mask expansion it's just crank that just ever so softly to where it looks kind of natural so from right here that's pretty much it that's how you extend the backdrop right everything looks like one cohesive backdrop folder and this looks fine but for me personally you kind of want to extend and elaborate on blending this background in there are a few things that you're able to do so for me personally what i like to do is to go ahead and duplicate our black video and create like a vignette to just kind of help out with this harsh light that we have here and basically what you want to do is just hold alt if you're on windows and i think it's command if you're on um apple so yeah just duplicate that and then come to the top black video and for here what we can do is first we can delete this mask because we don't need it and we can also delete this tent so basically we have another blank black video if you didn't want to duplicate that black video that's fine you could have just came over back to your project folder where is it came back over here to your project folder and just grabbed the black video and created another black video which is the, essentially the exact same thing that we did prior to deleting the mask and the tent so now that you have this so the trick the finesse to behind this is creating another mask but this time we're going to do create a list mask tool so we'll select that and as you can see now there's this black circle right here over our talent's face so what we're going to do is kind of just reposition this ellipse or this circle somewhere yeah somewhere like here so all this is just all personal preference just line that up where you, you think it looks best and then we're going to hit invert so now you can see it looks like you know a vignette right but the key here is that we don't want it this whole black background we still want to see the pink background so what are we going to do here to get that effect is come down to where it says opacity and then just bring that down to where it looks you know tasteful so i'm gonna settle right here on 12 and then also again you can still see the difference from the vignette from the pink and the, the darker pink here and then what we're gonna do is similar to what we did on our first one just come to where it says mask feather and just blend that out ever so softly so now it kind of looks just like a normal background right but also you can tell if you're like pixel peeping the background the background doesn't look exactly the same so you want to come over there and change that you can just come back to effects and type in levels and this here will allow you to change the gamma shift or uh, your background like but if this is like you know these numbers and it dealing with the gamma shifts or the input of you know your black and your white that is too confusing you can really just delete that 
and you can come over here to your uh, Lumetri color panel and come down to where it says curves and right here where it says Luma versus saturation just select that and then you'll be able to like perfectly blend in that those pinks so there you have it that is how you edit and replace a backdrop with Dan Premiere Pro. If this video was helpful for you in any type of way, please leave it a like so it's able to help others as we all grow in trying to be better editors, filmmakers, videographers, and cinematographers. And if you aren't already, please consider subscribing to the channel with post notifications on so you're able to be notified when other tutorials, blogs, shorts, documentaries go live here on the channel. But until next time, peace.